Aren't we living in a beautiful world? Nature is speaking louder than anybody else, and we don't even care. If we do not make serious changes as an individual or as an enterprise by 2050, there will exist around 12,000 million tons of plastic waste wandering around the ocean. Let's get real. We are drowning in plastic we cannot get rid of. So how to solve this? I propose two simple options. A. Plastic packs are wonderful, but as many other great things, the extreme consumption is awful. Now the consumption of plastic packs are suffocating the planet, and we need to start changing our consumption habits. But some enterprises see this problem as an opportunity. If you live in New York City or Paris, you'll be able to buy ice cream or shampoo in a reusable container. That's the project TerraCycle with the collaboration of major companies like Procter & Gamble, Nestle, PepsiCo and Unilever are behind. Loop is a new zero waste platform that will be launching this spring. Another initiative is Next Wave by IKEA and Hildet Packard in order to reduce ocean-bound plastics. What is happening with Japan? According to UN News, United States, Japan and Europe are the biggest plastic waste producers per capita. But Japan is especially focused on recycling pet bottles. Their quality is so pure that the uniforms of soccer teams at Barcelona and Manchester City are made from bottles collected from Japanese landfills. In 2014, 93.5% of pet bottles distributed nationwide were recycled. Supermarket chain Aeon has been promoting since 1991 eco-friendly practices, such as Bring Your Own Shopping Bag campaign, bioplastic shopping bags, and bags made from 100% recycled pet bottles. As I mentioned in my second video, some cities, not only in Mexico but in other parts of the world, are banning the use of plastic bags and straws. Most certainly everybody would like to reduce the amount of plastic in the ocean, but getting people to change what they are doing today is really hard. Hence, I propose option B, bioplastics. Although bioplastics may up less than 5% of the millions of tons of plastic produced each year around the world, globally the production of bioplastics is the highest in Asia Pacific. The growing packaging industry, both rigid and flexible packaging, accounts for more than 80% of bioplastic markets in Asia Pacific. This is the reason for higher production. The global market for bioplastics is 5.8 billion, according to Bioplastic News. Do you know that more than 30 different Japanese companies are located in a single province in central Mexico named Aguascalientes? Here's one idea. What about if Aguascalientes government and the Japanese government create an alliance in order to promote the use of bioplastic from Japanese companies, but also help make a smoother transition toward bioplastic or a plastic-free city? Wait, that's not it. There is something even better. Do you remember that in my first video I made this question? Avocado was the main response from that survey. Mexico produces three 100,000 pounds of avocados, or about 50% of the world's supply. Biofase is a Mexican startup that is producing plastic derived from avocado seed. Some people might see the avocado seed as an industrial waste, but for the visionaries, it's a business opportunity. Ecoshell is another Mexican enterprise that has an interesting product for the bioplastic companies. If I could give a message to the international community, it would have to be that one has to realize how accustomed and comfortable we've become to having disposable items and to realize that your actions do make a difference. And saying, oh, well, whatever I do doesn't matter is not, is not an option anymore because if the customers don't buy something, big companies will stop making it. 